Welcome to LightUp Essentials. This is a series of video tutorials on using LightUp. In this video I want to cover, there's sometimes some confusion between uh, pixel resolution as in a traditional ray tracer um, rendering and lighting resolution which is what LightUp is based on. So I've got a simple room here and what I've done is to create a little sort of model showing the field of view of the camera. Um, if the camera sort of viewpoint was here, that's the sort of field of view as if you were going to do a rendering. If I zoom in to there, this grid here is meant to represent um, the, the viewport when you were going to do a rendering and the grid represents very coarse sort of fat pixels just for demonstration purposes. So in a normal traditional ray tracer, you would be looking to determine for each of these little squares what the colour um, of the model was. So over here you can see this one's all white, these ones are sort of brick colour. Um, but you can only choose one colour for each pixel. So these are sort of very fat pixels. So if I was to have, and these fat pixels represent a low resolution rendering of the uh, model if you were using a traditional ray tracer. So it would look something like that. So you can see each of those sort of grid pixels has uh, been replaced by the average color of the model within those uh, grids. And you get something that's uh, fairly blurred and uh, not very distinct. If I go back to this grid and I increase um, the, let me just get these layers out here. Uh, if I increase um, the resolution of this grid, which in a traditional ray tracer would be to increase the image size of the output. So previously I had this and if I go to a higher resolution, I'm, you can see these grids are smaller and I'm getting more fidelity and I can see, begin to see detail. And you can imagine with a traditional ray tracer, you could go higher and higher resolution. The higher the resolution, the better the fidelity. Light up doesn't work that way. So what light up does is to, um, if I switch here, you always have the model at full resolution. And uh, what it does is to break up every surface into these small um, squares. So they're, they're like these pixels that we had, but here the pixels are um, connected to the viewport size, whereas here these pixels, these, these sort of squares, are not tied to the viewpoint because I can calculate the lighting and then in real time I can move the camera around. So each of these little squares will be lit and then applied to the model. So if I just... Um, turn those off. Those are just really for demonstration purposes. And I've got my 25 centimeter. If I just click go, you can see, um, if I move in, that the lighting is calculated on little patches. Uh, if I decrease the size of those patches, which is like in a ray tracer, making more and more of those little, uh, making that grid finer. If I do it 10 centimeters, you can see that the grid is finer and the lighting has more fidelity and details. And I can make that, now we've got something that's a, a lot more detailed. If I can go down to quite small um, grid sizes, um, and now you've got very, very detailed shape of the profile of this table uh, and the sunlight coming in here. Um, but of course, I can, I can move around because it's, uh, because it's light up. Um, equally, if I was to have a very large uh, grid size so that each of these lighting grids was bigger than lots of the elements in my model, I'm going to get some pretty weird sort of uh, effects. You can see here, it's the, light, the sampling of the lighting is so large that it's just missing all these details. There's no shadow of the table because there's one lighting sample here and the next one's over here. And so it's missing all this detail. 
So the trick with light up is to start with um, a quite a coarse resolution. In this case, we'll try 25 centimeters. It's pretty much instant. Um, obviously, if the middle model's bigger, it will take longer time. But generally, lower resolutions are faster to, to process. And once you're happy that the lighting is getting in the right places, then you can come over here and start bumping up for final output. So just to recap, in a traditional uh, ray tracer, for the viewport, the viewport is cut into a grid and the resolution of that grid determines how high quality the output is. That's, that's a low resolution, so very, very chunky and very blurred output, higher resolution and you get um, more fidelity in the image. Light up works in a similar way but the resolution is tied to the, the model itself and not the viewpoint. So here you can see I've given an indication of how the surfaces are all being cut up into little squares and being lit individually. And the resolution of that uh, grid is set in um, over here in preferences. So low resolution, well let me just turn off that grid because that's not being helpful. Right, low resolution, um, it's very very quick but you're getting very blurred shadows and as you increase resolution uh, you get finer and finer shadows.